Hello and thank you for purchasing my Unreal Engine 5 Quest system. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to implement into another project. First open up your project to create a new one. For this example I'm going to create a brand new third person sample project. Next add my Quest system asset to your project using the Epic Launchers library tab. Once added you should see the folder Dynomega Quest System added to your content folder. Next open up your player controller and if you don't have a player controller you'll need to create one first and then connect it to your game mode. And if you don't have a game mode you'll need to create one of those as well and attach your game mode to your level through the world settings or project settings. And inside your player controller add the component AC underscore quest underscore player controller. There are a couple AC underscore quest components so make sure you select the right one. And that's it. The other components you saw are either added for you automatically or used optionally if you wish to apply further tweaks to the quest indicator for a particular actor. Go ahead and hit the play button, and when you press the L key, it should load the quest log. If you see it, congratulations, you have successfully integrated the quest system into your project. You are now ready to make some quests. If you need to change the key bindings for the interaction or for the quest log, open up the AC underscore quest underscore player controller and navigate to the key bindings event graph. This is where they're all defined. I have a video that will walk you through step by step making a quest from scratch, and I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. But before we call it quits, let's at least make one of my demo quests work in your current level, just so we can confirm that everything is working properly. Go ahead and open up the DT underscore quest data table located in the blueprints variables data tables folder. Let's use this first quest in our data table. To do this, we just need to change the level name to the level we are currently in, or enable the cross level quest boolean. I'm gonna go ahead and change the level name, Next, we need to add the tags from our quest to the actors in our world. I'm going to use these three cubes. The first will be where I pick up the quest, the second is the one I will travel to and interact with, and the third cube will be my final travel to objective, as well as where I turn the quest in at. Go ahead and copy the start at actor tag from the table, then search the details panel for our actor tags on our first cube, and then add the tag. Let's hit play to make sure we see the indicator. Yep, that looks good. We can now accept the quest, but currently it has no objective, so there's no way to actually finish it yet. Let's go ahead and connect our objectives. Return to the data table and expand the objective section for our quest. Our first few objectives want us to travel to and then interact with an actor that has the tag Timmy. So let's add this actor tag to our second cube. Let's hit play again to see if we see the objective indicator. Yep, there it is. Okay, let's look up our final objective and the turn in. We can see from our final objective that the tag we need to add is also the same tag used as the complete add actor tag. It is okay to combine tags like this, but if you really want to have a different tag for the objective, then that is fine too. The choice is yours. Go ahead and copy this tag and add it to our third cube. Then hit play and give your quest a try. You should now be able to complete the quest. If you want to reset the quest after you complete it, you can drop the button from the demo world to reset all quests into your level. Keep in mind this button is intended only for debugging and it is not something that you should give the player access to. I recommend creating a set of your own key bindings to better handle debugging of quests. You can take a look at the logic I'm using in the button examples from the final platform of my demo world. And there you have it. For a more detailed step-by-step -step walkthrough of making a new quest from scratch, make sure you check out the other video that I linked in the description. Also make sure you check out the quest rewards section of the documentation to learn how to integrate your item system into it. If you have any questions or would like to suggest a feature, or if you find any bugs, please let me know in the comments. Thank you again for your purchase and good luck with your game. See, that wasn't so bad.